Hey, that shit on TNT. People like jalapenos and stuff like they don't make tacos. I don't like this. I don't even eat jalapenos. So, yeah. so I'm picking my meat. All right, so I'm waiting on the meat to get done. And what else? Some people like to put theirs in the oven, you know, get them a little brown 
a little hard or whatever. I like mine soft. I don't like nothing hard. So I'm not going to put mine in the oven. But I'm going to go ahead and prep them while the meat is finished cooking. Because, of course, you want it hot. Okay, so I'm going to get everybody played out. You know, it's for them. So you know how they go. Lisha and her crew. While the meat still cooking, it's almost done or whatever. Make sure y'all cook that meat through, man. I'm be trying to fast cook that meat. So while they still cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and press the shells. Like I said, I got the small ones for the baby. I got the big ones for the big people. And they all look tacos. They all look tacos. So, I'm going to put the baby one on there. She might eat two bits. She's going to eat one for right now. Because she probably going to make a mess anyway. She's going to take all the meat out of it and eat the meat and cheese. She might not even eat the shell. But yeah. And it's 10 in these. So I'm gonna give, and they're gonna be some pretty big tacos. They're not gonna be no small tacos. They got something me the uh, big shell, so we're gonna use the big shell. I did Walmart delivery. I didn't go pick it up, so this is what they sent. This is what we're gonna use. Okay, so I got the shells on the plate. I like to put cheese on the bottom and the top. So we're going to put some cheese on the bottom of the shell. And we're going to put some cheese on the top of, top of the meat as well. So you don't need nothing but a little small amount on the bottom because you're going to put some on the top. And don't worry about that little baby. Baby stuff is hollering. She always loud. It's just her. It's just what she do. As y'all saw in the previous video, she be begging all the time. She be begging. So, yeah. I'm going to put a little cheese on the bottom shelf as well. You don't need that much. The fuzz going on the top. And the meat almost done. Once the meat done, I'm going to add it on top of the cheese. That way that cheese can melt some. And then... I'm going to add some more cheese on top. The meat is done. I'm going to go ahead and grind it. And then I'm going to add some taco seasoning. You know, for that little taco taste or whatever. Because I did season it with my own seasoning as well. I'm going to grind it. It's done. Okay, so I'm about to drain the meat. Y'all want to know all the tacos. Get out the oil off. I got a strainer down here, of course. So I'm gonna drain it. I'm gonna sit there right there. I'm gonna shake it. Shake the oil off. Okay, so I'm gonna add the taco seasoning first. And you can add how many packs you feel is necessary for your meat. One, two, whatever you want to add. You don't want it too salty. So I'm going to add that in. Stir it up a little bit. And I'm going to add some water to it. Stir it up so I'm first to make sure I got enough. You should get that smell too. If it smell like tacos, it's tacos. Not for real. Though. So I add that season. I'm gonna add a little bit more because I don't feel that that is enough. I'm gonna add a little more seasoning to it. Not too much. Okay, I'm gonna add some water in. With the seasoning. And you want to stir that in and cook it through some more. So you can make sure the seasoning is cooked in. Um, 
don't know how y'all make y'all tacos, but this is how I make mine, and they be busting. But yeah, I'm gonna cook the sauce in. Make sure it's all over the meat. gonna let that cook for about three to five minutes because it's already done you just add the seasoning so it just gives it a little bit more flavor okay so i done cooked the seasoning in it smells good too can y'all smell it smell it really good so i cooked the seasoning and my meat is ready Put it on. She don't need nothing but a little meat. She probably gonna eat just the meat and cheese anyway. But yeah, when you put the meat on there, you wanna go ahead and add the cheese so you want your cheese to be melted. I don't know if you want yours melted or not, but I definitely want mine melted. So this gonna melt while I'm fixing the next one. Ahead, two per person. These some big old shells too, yeah. I don't know if y'all like big shells or little shells or whatever, but these some big shells. Cheese to this. I think I could be a chef. <laughs> Probably not. I could do a little cooking. Yeah, I'll be trying. I'll try some new stuff. Stay tuned for this too, because I'm going to be trying different stuff as well. Trying some new stuff. And while y'all let it, make sure y'all turn those post notifications on so you don't miss a beat. Even the meat to everybody taco. Okay, so once your cheese meal, this how it should look. You can add some more cheese too. That one's still melting. This one hasn't melted yet. I just fixed that one. But this actually looks where your cheese is melted before you add everything else. You can also add some cheese on. Okay, so I just open my can of rotate. I'm gonna drain it. Because you don't want it watery or whatever. So this is my first time trying a uh, can of rotel on there. I should have cooked it with the meat and see how it would have turned out if I would have cooked it together but I didn't and besides the kids they don't uh, they don't eat tomato and stuff oh shit I need this food no so I'm gonna be the only person that's gonna get some of this I'm only gonna put a little bit on there because I don't really eat tomatoes but I wanted to try this to see how it comes out hopefully it's good I don't eat a lot of lettuce either I'm really picky. But I think this rotate is gonna give it a little flavor or whatever. I should have cooked it in with the meat, but like I said, the kids don't eat it. So everybody sat up, because everybody eats sour cream. I'm gonna spread it out a little bit. Like I said, if I would have had kind of normally, which is the one that squirt, which is more convenient than the one in this cup. Okay, so I'm gonna add some mild sauce to everybody's. How much whatever you want, that's your preference. As you can see, I got some picky eaters. Now I want nothing on this. A little bit soft. Everybody's. Oh, it's like I put too much on that. Okay, so I told y'all I had got some chili sauce. I hope it's good. 
This is my first time trying it. Smell like ketchup to me. I don't know if I want to try this. Smell too much like ketchup. Nah, I ain't gonna try this. It's too thick. I thought it was gonna be thin, but this was like something. I ain't gonna try this. So this how it should look when it get done. So I did try to uh can of rotel. Let's hope that it turns out good. Now y'all see me fucking them tacos up. Tacos is always better when you make them at home. It's just something about at home tacos. But yeah, I'm sitting over there watching the wrong side of the tracks. If y'all haven't watched it, y'all definitely need to watch it. Cause grandpa don't play in that movie. But yeah, thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn those post notifications on so you don't miss a beat. And watch me continue eating these tacos. Y'all see how I'm getting up out my teeth? Man, them shit be thick. Now look at me. Look at them kids over there. They fucking them tacos up too. Join them. Clean his plate. Make sure you got something to drink because you definitely going to need it. Them shells be dry, man, with all that cheese. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn those post notifications on so you don't miss a beat.